Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to break out rooms in Microsoft Teams. Set up your breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams before your meeting begins. This will save you time for admin tasks during your meeting. To set up the rooms beforehand, we need to schedule a meeting. Head into your Teams calendar and schedule a meeting with participants. Once you have your participants invited and the meeting set, you can now set up the rooms. Begin by editing your meeting and going into the Breakout Rooms tab. From there, click Create Rooms, select the number of rooms you want, up to 50 rooms can be selected. From there, click Assign Participants and decide if you want Teams to automatically assign your students to a room, or if you want to manually assign your students. It doesn't take long to manually assign them, so do not be afraid of this option. You only need to click the student's name and click Assign to choose which room they will be a part of. As of right now, Teams doesn't have a feature for you to save your breakout rooms. So for each meeting you have, you will have to reassign your participants to a room. If you have groups that don't change regularly, you can still create channels and do breakout rooms that way. Once all of your students are assigned to a room, check out all the different settings you can customize for your breakout rooms. First, give your breakout rooms their own names. You can quickly rename each room in accordance with the subject or group names of the students. It will also help students remember which room they are supposed to be in. Click on the three dots on the top right corner of the room name. In the same menu, you can edit that room. Change the settings or delete it. Now that all your settings are complete, we can open up these breakout rooms and let our students get chatting. To start using the breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams, you can open each room one at a time by going into that room settings or open them all at once. Once the meetings are open, you will be alone in the main meeting because all of your students have been placed into their breakout rooms. You can make sure each student is in the meeting by dropping down the menu for each room. There, it shows if a student is in the meeting or has not made it there. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you got some value. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below. See you in the next one.